Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated is one of the most anticipated game releases of this year for lots of people, myself included. Just like anyone else born in the era, I grew up playing this game, although I did not grow up playing the console version that so many other people did. I actually had the PC version growing up. I first experienced the console version when I was a teenager at a friend's house. The PC version, as far as I knew when I was around 7 or 8 years old, was the only version of the game that existed. Now my original plans for this video were to go back and revisit this game on my desktop and record some fresh gameplay, however, I can't do that for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, my new desktop does not have a disk drive. I built it specifically so it didn't need one, and my only external disk drive unfortunately stopped reading disks about a month ago. You had one job. Reason number two, and the most obvious reason, is that I'm running Windows 10 on my desktop, and this game was made specifically for Windows 98 and XP, so the compatibility probably wouldn't want to work as fluently as I would want it to anyways. So due to the fact that I can't capture some fresh gameplay, I'm going to be borrowing some gameplay footage from Kyaku Nakira, who uploaded a ton of gameplay footage in 4K. If you want to see some of the gameplay footage yourself, I'm linking this guy's channel down below. I hope you enjoy it. So let's get started. Battle for Bikini Bottom on the PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox, etc. was a 3D platforming game in the vein of Super Mario 64. However, Battle for Bikini Bottom on PC is a totally different animal. It's a point-and-click puzzle game, each level consisting of a bunch of mini-games. As opposed to having one overarching level, everything is broken down into bite-sized chunks. Despite the radical change in gameplay, I can assure you that each section of this game is still a lot of fun. It uses tons of unique ideas and gives the game its own identity, which I feel it needs. The story, as far as I can tell, is the exact same as the console version, and the levels are very similar to what you would find on the console version as well, with Downtown, Mermelair, Kelp Forest, the Graveyard, and the Chum Bucket all being represented here. While I did vastly prefer 3D platformers when I was a kid, and I probably would have preferred to play this game on a console because that's what I was used to anyways, I did still have a hell of a lot of fun with this on PC. Each level was a little bit different, and it brought joy to my ADHD-ridden heart. When I first started making this video, I was getting ready to rip on it for not holding up as well as I remember. However, graphically, musically, voice acting wise, and gameplay wise, it looks like it holds up just about as well as the console versions. It's just different. If I can get a version of this game to run on my computer, I plan on uploading some gameplay to my gameplay channel, if I can remember the login. It's been years since I've used it. Needless to say, I am a little bit more excited for Rehydrated though. What do you guys think? Are you excited for Rehydrated? Do you want to try to dig up a PC copy of this game and see if it works? Let me know in the comments. This has been Danrock. Peace out and take care.